the City of Portland's Arts and Work Program continues with its art involving tar lines in the street. Brian Knobloch was at an exhibit of this art and has this report. Have you ever looked at the tar lines on the street and seen patterns? Well, you're not alone. A Portland artist had seen and photographed those lines for years, and this summer she began to look at them in a brand new way. The result was an exhibit that just opened in the City Council Gallery entitled Lines Portland. Artist Katarina Westland describes the journey from the mundane to the extraordinary. And this particular exhibition is started off by photographing the, uh, the lines made by the crew when they were they're making the winter repairs and extending the life of the, of the asphalt. And it's just something that I've been observing and photographing as I'm taking my dogs for walks, you know, over the years. And this summer, I was given an opportunity to be an artist in residence at the School of the Art Institute in Chicago in their print uh, media department. And so then I started to look at these photographs that I had taken initially to, to make photo etchings. That became an absolute disaster and it really didn't work, but on the way to making these photo plates, I had isolated the lines and really worked with the images and I became absolutely enamored by how these lines were made. thought very much of, of uh, primitive uh, cave paintings and abstract expressionism, you know, Frank Klein and, and Jackson Pollock and Motherwell and how they really made lines with very, you know, very loosely. Um, and so I started to isolate them and then really think about who, you know, and really who made these. So that's really how this became, you know, how I started it. But it's also thinking about, you know, the accidents that happen when you, um, when you're just looking, like the peripheral vision that we have, especially while walking, and that the ordinary can become, the, it's the cliche is that it becomes extra, you know, extraordinary, but in fact that it really is true, that change is really just a very slight shift of vision. So these prints and the isolation and the collaging and merging of different images um, are a way to see this ordinary lines that the crew will say, oh, we were just repairing, but to me they become you know, an expression of something that I'm in relationship to um, as, as an extension of what they do. It's not the same thing, but you know, it's like we have parallel visions in some way. Like this was not something I went in and made precious, that this in fact, I saw something what was already there. So that to me is an interesting relationship. It's that, so it's isolating something that is in the, just right in front of us. And uh, it's not necessarily my expression or my mark but it's a, it's a relationship with the world around me. David Melendez is on the public services crew and describes how the patterns were formed. The art kind of creates itself, if you will. Um, wherever there's cracks, um, we're there to fill them. So. Were you surprised when you were approached by the artist and said, this is art? Absolutely, you know, it took on a whole new meaning for me even. Um, only because, you know, as you looked at these different things and, and as the artist brought these things to our forefront, um, you could see, when you, it opens your mind up to different things. Director Marty Pottinger talks about the goals of Art at Work. Art at Work is a national initiative to improve municipal government through strategic arts projects with uh, local artists, with city employees, unions, and elected officials. And it, it started in Portland, Maine in 2007. The Lines Project was great because it came from a different angle. It was Katarina Wiesman called to ask, me, how do public service workers do what they do? And out of that, I realized one of the issues for public service workers in the union, this is a local 481 sponsored project, which is also great. It's an Ask Me union. Uh, so it's a city union, they're all over the country, but here it's local 481, it's kind of southern Maine. And there was an issue of uh, the opportunity available was for the members to actually increase their respect for each other and that was seen as a key issue by the membership themselves. And so, you know, this project gives greater vis visibility to the work that they do. I mean, who pays attention to the street road crew? Not that many people. To kind of identify the visible and invisible labor that gets done every day by city workers. And this happens to be what Katarina was inspired by were the lines. And so the idea of lines kind of became central. That there's all these lines of labor and connection and actual physical lines that connect us. Director of Public Services, Mike Babinski. Uh, this is uh, an outstanding opportunity to sort of showcase the work that the department does sort of on a day in and day out. David talked about that. 
Um, beyond just road maintenance and surface maintenance, the, the daily services that this department provides in, in promoting the quality of living in Portland. Uh, we have a rich group of employees from engineering to solid waste uh, to parks maintenance and taking care of our trails and our traffic systems. Dave Melendez told the opening night crowd what the project means to him and the crew. You know, the, the public, public services um, division, you know, you don't see a lot of this type of thing with us. Um, we get a lot of hard times as the leaning on shovel public service kind of people and this type of stuff. Um, so I would challenge um, to bring um, those civilians that think that way on board with the construction division for a week and let them see just what we do do. Um, and and the, the public services as a whole. It's, uh, there's a lot of things we do that, that goes unseen, and it's, this is a beautiful thing. So the next time you're crossing the street in Portland, take a moment and look down. You could be standing on art. For Community Update, I'm Brian Malcolm.